Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to be continuing on with our series on iOS development with UIKit by taking a look at how we can customize the type of keyboard uh, that we can use with our text fields as well as how we can add a toolbar to our keyboard. Uh, most often you see this uh, in apps where you're editing content and uh, there's common controls like a paste button or a cut button uh, for selections and stuff like that or a select all button or something like that um, there are Twitter apps like Twitter clients that give you like an at symbol or a uh, hashtag symbol that you can tap on in the in a key in the keyboard's toolbar so you can quickly type those instead of you know changing the keyboard type itself stuff like that um, sometimes you'll even see them with a done button in the toolbar and that just and that is used to dismiss the keyboard all right so Let's go into Xcode and see how exactly we can do this. So inside of Xcode, I have my, excuse me, I still have my text field, my label, and my button uh, from the last few videos. We're gonna add to this by saying value field dot, and then the property that we want is keyboard type so keyboard type equals dot and then we can have all kinds of types of keyboards we can have one uh, for urls uh, one that's ascii capable uh, one that's an ascii capable number pad we can have a decimal pad. We can have the default. We can have one that's for email addresses. Uh, we can have one for entering phone numbers. We can have a number pad. Uh, we can have numbers and punctuation. Uh, we I can't we again have a phone pad. We have a Twitter style keyboard. We have a web search style keyboard. We have an alphabet keyboard, and that's it. Let's say we want to change this to be a number pad. So let's say number pad. And we save this and we run our code. Alright, uh, it's, it's a successful build. Alright, and so let's start editing in this field. And we're going to... We're gonna to toggle the keyboard here. And so here is our little number pad. And so that all works. But what if we, you know, what if we didn't have this done button in our user interface right next to our text field and we needed to dismiss the keyboard? Well, the number pad and many of the other keyboards don't have, a, in fact, a lot of them don't have a way to do it. That's why dismissing the keyboard is such a common problem that people uh, run into because they don't have any way to dismiss them, whether it be tapping uh, on a view outside of it or out, you know, outside the text field or anything like that. So we can solve this problem by adding a toolbar to our keyboard 
and having a uh, and having a button inside of that toolbar that resigns the first responder for our field. And we could do this by adding a toolbar as the input accessory view of our text field. So let's go back into Xcode. All right. And inside of our configure text field method, we're going to create a toolbar and some toolbar items. Uh, so we want to say VR, or rather, we want this to be a VAR, either a VAR or a LET. We'll say LET toolbar equals UI toolbar. So a UI toolbar is that toolbar that we talked about. Here, we're going to say LET done bar button equals a UI bar button item. And we are going to have, uh, we, can tr we can use this one here. So system item, and we can, we have all kinds of options here. I believe we can say there's a done there's a done but type here as well. No, I don't think there is. Okay. Um Ah. Yes, there is. There we go. So, here we are with our done uh item type. So there are some, so if you need a, uh, a if you need a UI bar button item in your toolbar that does a very common task, uh, use the uh, you know use the system item initializer here for our bar button item, and check to see if there is already a uh, a system item type uh, that matches. So that way. Uh, you can use a system, uh, like a built-in system button for that instead of having to customize it yourself. Granted, it doesn't give you the functionality of said button. It just customizes it to look like the most common version of that kind of button. Okay. All right, and then we need our target. We're gonna set the target to self. And then the action is going to be hashtag selector. And this is gonna be uh, dismiss keyboard like that. All right. Then we're going to have another, uh, we're going to have another bar button item. So let's, we're going to say spacer equals UI bar button item. And then we need a specific initializer here. Uh, we don't want a coder. We don't want, we do not want one with an image. Uh, we don't want, one, we don't want this with a primary action. Uh, let's just use the one that we've used before and we'll say dot flexible flexible space 
And because we don't need our target and we don't need a selector, we can get rid of these entirely. And there we go. Now, this, now we have two items in our toolbar. Or we're not inside of our toolbar yet, but we have a toolbar and two bar button items. The flexible space, uh, so the flexible space, what this is going to do is we're gonna have this push our done, our done button all the way to the trailing edge of our screen. So it's gonna go all the way to the right. Because that's usually where you see our, your done button and where it's most easily accessible by your thumb. All right, so here, let's go ahead and say toolbar dot size to fit and we'll say toolbar dot items and we're gonna set this equal to an array of our items so we'll say spacer and done bar button item or done bar button all right, so there we go. Now, size to fit basically just says, hey, size, make sure that the size of our toolbar fits our, you know, our buttons. If, if make sure it fits the toolbar content. All right. Now we can say value field dot input accessory view equals toolbar like that now let's go ahead and run our code and you can see build failed why did the build fail because we did not do our dismiss keyboard method so let's go ahead and add that in here while we're at it. So let's say at OBJC private funk dismiss keyboard and we'll say value field dot resign first responder okay and I believe Okay, and then up here, we're just gonna modify our, uh, our uh, method for clicking the done button. And we're just gonna say dismiss keyboard like that. Save it, run it. Um. Okay, so we are Okay, so we're so we have a, an error here somewhere. Okay, let's see what this error is about.
I, I believe it's this line here, but... Let's comment that line out, maybe... Okay, we're gonna comment that out here. Does that fix the problem? No, it does not. Okay. So we're missing an argument somewhere, it says. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure where that would be. Um, I know it's here somewhere. It's just where is the question. Let's see here. Debugging is fun, right? Let's see. Is this... This has to be where the error is, right? It has to be. It's just a matter of what the heck's causing the issue. Let's see, maybe it's one of these other. I'm gonna try to comment out some of these and, and so then we can try to uh, get it knocked out. Ah, so it's the spacer. Okay.